Hey everybody, my name's Silver. Welcome back to the channel. Today, guys, we have Ultra Rares Gold Paladin Ezreal deck profile. So, guys, um, Ultra Rare has been completely confirmed. Black Moon has done his Neo Nectar deck profile, and I figured it's time I do my Ezreal, being that I haven't been that great on uploads, but I got some things I'm working on for the future, so please hold off and just wait a little bit longer. Guys, I'm sorry if I mess up a lot. I'm super tired. It's a little, it's 2 a.m. For me. Oh, God, I'm tired. I'm sorry. All right, so let's break down this deck profile. Let's start off with Incandescent Blonezel, the main unit. It has Superior Ride. So if you take one Knight of Superior Skills and one Knight of Elegant Skills, is on your Vanguard and the other's on Rear. Uh, if you have a Knight of Elegant Skills and a Knight of a Vanguard or Rearguard cost, Counter Blast, uh, Soul Blast, one Crimson Lion. Ride this unit as stand, and if your opponent has a Grade 2 or less Vanguard, it gets minus one Dryer Check. So, let's talk about this real quick. This card is wonderful. You're going to use this to try to rush as quickly. You're hoping to get the Grade 1 and the Grade 2 in opening hand, preferably with another Grade 1. That way you can call the first grade one, or ride the first grade one, ride the grade two, call the grade one, and just hop into that superior ride. The only time I want to say you probably don't want to burn the superior ride is when you're facing Marakumo, but that's pretty self-explanatory, which leads into the second grade three, which I'm going to cover before Sagamore, the, my favorite reprint in design, or art design-wise. Is we're gonna cover the white hair in the moon shadow Pelamore. He's your second superior ride, which we run it to. Because I always in my opinion, running nine grade threes is okay. And you always want to have an extra superior ride in hand. Essentially, at end of battle that your rear guard attack hits a grade three or greater vanguard costs counter blast one, soul blast three, ride this unit as stand, it gets minus one drive. So this card is going to definitely apply some pressure late game, especially when you're getting to the Excel circles and your opponent just can't keep hitting, can't keep guarding that rush. Also, if he's on Vanguard at the end of battle that your rearguard attacked, you can cost Counter Blast 1 return this unit to hand. Return, a, return that unit to hand, which is super helpful. All right. Sorry, I'm hiccuping. Okay. Next, our second grade three that we run three of and you can swap this down to two and pell more up to three um i like this ratio i'm gonna play test with this ratio to start off with because as well as your main superior ride uh when placed from hand cost counter blast one uh soul blast one draw a card and call a card from hand to rear pretty good i like this card um we're gonna move right along into the grid twos now we're starting off with lop your shooter there was some others other grade twos but i think this is the best one at end of battle that your grade two or greater vanguard attack costs counter blast one the, call this card to rear guard and it gets 5k power until it turned what i really like about this is if you have pelamore as your vanguard you attack with this in an excel circle your opponent lets it hit you can bounce it back to hand with pelamore then attack with your vanguard and counter blast one to call this back to that excel circle really good um ezel's second skill which is when this unit attacks you may call a card from hand if ezel's your vanguard then you don't really have to worry about calling this from hand just like if you drive check it because um i don't know if it has to be after when it attacks oh so yeah it has to be before but yeah we run four lopier shooters we run four prayers of the holy bow um when plays from hand costs counter blast one so bless one look at the top three cards of your deck Call one card from among them to rear guard, put the rest to the bottom of your deck in any order, and this unit gets 3k until end of turn. I like that. Very simple, you're on four of it. We're on four Knight of, of Superior Skills for simplistically the Ezel skill. When placed from hand cost, discard a card, search your deck for one Knight of Elegant Skills, call it to rear guard, shuffle deck. When placed due to an ability, give it 3k. And we run four of those. So you got your 12 grade twos. We move on to the evil slaying swordsman. We run two of. Um, when your vanguard attack hits, look at the top card of your deck. You may call a card with a grade less than or equal to your vanguard's grade from among them to regard. 
If you call, retire evil slang from your rear guard. Pretty good. Um, we also have a listener of truth that we run three of. When placed due to an ability, soul blast one, you may, you may, you, soul blast one, you play, draw a card or counter charge, and this unit gets 3k until end of turn. Wow. I'm super tired. We run three of her. Moving along, we have Battle Flag Knight, which was a really cool card back in the day. Counter Blast 2, look at look at three cards from the top of your deck. Call up to one card with a grade less than or equal to your Vanguard's grade from among them to rear guard and put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. I like it. Very simplistic. It's a nice field supporter. We run Knight of Elegant Skills for... Ezel and superior skills on um, one place due to kind of cards ability you're probably not gonna ever use this but counter blast one and get 10k I, I guess you can use it if you put them on an excel circle um and we run four of him as well moving along to our first grade zero which is crimson lion cub this is gonna be your main one some people are saying running this at multiple but in all honesty you know you're going up against that Murakumo matchup. You're not going to superior ride. You're going to wait it out, wait for them to lock you down, and then activate your superior rides. It's just how you're going to do stuff. Granted, at the same time, if you're trying to go for white hairs, they're probably not going to let you. We run five criticals, three flame of hopes, and two knights, just because I like to mess with people. We run three front triggers. I like this better than adding a six critical and an additional draw, two additional draws. This is, I've always had good luck when it comes to, um, what's it called? Getting front triggers when they're most needed for rear guards. So I like these. We run four of the perfect guard draws because that's what you should be running and four heals. Um, and there's really not much else to run. Uh, if you want a budget-friendly variant of this deck, you're probably going to want to ditch these guys, the Ezels, and probably the Knight of Skills and just replace them with other cards. We run four, um, White Hairs and four, four, um, Sagamores and a couple of the other Grade Twos. I don't remember the names off the top of my head. But yeah, that's... You essentially just want to ditch these, these, and these for the budget build. Um, I don't see the deck being too much different other than this. But guys, let me know what you think down in the comments below. Let me know what deck you guys want to see of my perspective next, whether it be Neo Nectar um, or Angel Feather, and I will post it. Um, yeah, guys, until next time, I've been Silver Wolf, and I'll see you all later. Peace.